That would just open up a whole lot of space and a variety for, for jobs because I can go to a temp agency and probably acquire a job or like right away. That's Corey Craig. He's been using Silo Mission, a shelter house for the city's most vulnerable, for seven years now. Craig says he lost his family a long time ago and the depression took him out of the workforce and into drugs. Craig hasn't received a Christmas gift in a long time, but that could change thanks to Hope Worldwide, an organization that attempts to bring Christmas to the most vulnerable around the holidays. This year, Craig is really hoping for steel toe boots so he can rejoin the workforce now that he's been clean from drugs for almost four months. There are some people that don't get to celebrate Christmas or who um, don't get a gift, and we want to help them uh, just really be encouraged by the spirit of Christmas. Stacy Schlichting is one of Hope's volunteers. She interviewed 90 people at Siloam, asking them things about themselves and what they would get other people if they had the chance. Craig says he would get his friends a gift card for warm clothes instead of the clothes themselves because of the simple joy wearing something you like brings. Just because we're homeless, you still want uh, something that kind of suits you, you know. Like, unfortunately, even though if I was cold, I'd still take it, but I wouldn't want a pink uh, uh, sleeping bag or a pink toque or something. I'd like something where I can go to the store and pick it out myself. So it kind of suits my personality. My heart is moved. And you, you'll interview some people who, who um, they don't even ask for a gift for themselves. They want to get a gift for their child or for their children. Um, so I'm always moved. We've just had somebody recently who pledged a gift for someone so they could take their son to a Jets game. So and that's been pledged already. So I just it warms my heart. Schlichting has seen steel toe boots donated before, so she has hope Craig will get his gift. Silo Mission fills their 110 beds almost every night, especially when winter gets cold. Communications manager Luke Thiessen says their biggest priority is keeping their patrons warm and safe, and these gifts can go a long way in ensuring that. It's uh, a really big uh, blessing for people to be able to have uh, somebody thinking about them at Christmas time and uh, to be able to receive a gift. I mean, that's really special when you're somebody who's uh, maybe disconnected from family, disconnected from friends and connections. Anyone hoping to donate a gift to a vulnerable Canadian can visit homelesspartners.com before December 17th. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.